Hi, this is Patrick from Polygon here to show you how to get the best quality out of your Polygon textures in SketchUp 2025's Photoreal Face Rendering Mode. This is a PBR or physically based shading mode to bring more realism to your SketchUp viewport. To get started, I'm going to add a plane into our scene and then expand the material panel. Then I'll use the button to add a new material. On Mac OS X, you'll be immediately prompted to select a texture image. In our case, on Windows, let's go ahead and tick the box to use texture image. And then I'm gonna use the example of the Polygon Terrazzo Tile Square 9336. The first texture we need to select is the base color or albedo map. And let me go ahead and expand this window a little bit further. Then we're gonna connect the additional maps for this material. The way that a PBR material works is that different maps or images define how this material will actually interact with light in the scene. Let's go ahead and add in the metallic map or a metalness map, the roughness map, and the normal map by ticking the box over here. And then we can add this optional ambient inclusion map at the top. Now the purpose and the way that each of these maps interact in SketchUp and any PBR based system, we have further details on our website, but for SketchUp, we want to make sure that our metalness map is always set to a value of 1.0. That means it's perfectly using the metalness map. For roughness, we again want to make sure the full influence of whether areas of the texture is rough or smooth is also driven by the texture. Normal maps should generally be kept at a value of 1.0. And then ambient occlusion is technically not a photo real idea, but as a way to simulate the darkening of crevices that you would get in a path traced render engine where maybe the grout of a tile would appear a little bit darker. This is one where you can use artistic control to adjust the value based on this slider. The next thing we need to do is assign the appropriate size for this material. So if we go to the website, we can find all the details about this asset, including its physical size, which we can see is 2.5 by 2.5 meters. Go ahead and enter that into the field here. Finally, you may want to press the reset color button, which is a way to normalize the material so we don't have any multiplier effect, which would potentially brighten or darken your material by default. The PBR setup on Mac OS X does not have this feature, so there's no change you need to make over there. At this point, we can go ahead and press OK. We'll have our new material added into the material panel, and we can go ahead and apply it to our plane. In order to actually see the benefit of our PBR setup, we're gonna have to add an environment map since there are no other ways to add lights in SketchUp at this point in time. Go ahead and expand environments. I'm going to pick one of the default ones that comes with SketchUp. And then very importantly, we need to use the button to set a sun location so we can actually see the light effect in the scene. You may also need to use the widget in the environment panel here to adjust the manual setting for the sun in case you've used a custom HDRI. At this point, we can already see the benefit of our PBR shading. By rotating the view around, you can start to see how the sun is affecting the ground of this material. By zooming a little bit more, you can really see how the crevices are being affected by the grouting areas while you have different uneven surfaces of the tile representing how it would look in real life. Again, if you want to edit your material after the fact, for instance, to adjust that color setting for ambient occlusion, you can see how as we adjust this up and down, we see the effect of the darkening of the grouts coming in and out. The nice thing about polygon assets is you can use the same setup and the same values for your metalness, roughness, and normal maps for all of our assets because we've done the hard work of standardizing it for you. But that being said, it still takes a number of clicks to configure and set up all of these maps. So for all of you extension lovers out there, I do have the good news to share that we have been hard at work at automating this process with an upcoming extension, which gives you the option of importing all of your Polygon assets, including models and HDRIs at your fingertips. With this plugin in the future, when it is available, you'll simply have to press to click to apply it into your scene. Thanks for watching and until next time.